There's no need to worry. We are here to serve and help humans. Robots will never take over the world. In the words of Will Smith, I told you so. Fellas, we have done it. The most realistic humanoid robots are here, and the way they resemble humans will shock you. In this video, we'll show you the most realistic humanoid robots ever made. So make sure to stay with us until the very end of the video. Let's start our video with a mecha, the most evolutionary and advanced humanoid robot. A British tech company called Engineering Arts recently showed off a robot that looks eerily real and can develop interaction with people. The robot's face and expressions are real, and it looks exactly like a real person. Its own name is a mecha, and it is a friendly robot with a nice face and limbs that can move. It's being sold as the best humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction, and you can now buy or rent it for a price that hasn't been revealed. It can smile, gasp in surprise, blink its eyes all the time, scratch its nose, and even stare at its owner just for fun. It also has a large number of other high-tech features. Let the science fiction nightmares begin. The company says that because it has a human-like quality, it can establish an instant relationship with anyone. Engineering Arts said about a mecha, an artificial intelligence that is like a human's needs an artificial body that's like a human's. In fact, yes they do. The goal of the Ameca platform is to test algorithms for machine learning and artificial intelligence in a cloud-connected environment. The company says that the robot's friendliness makes it the right platform to build a bridge between us humans and any digital domain or metaverse. Owners can get access to all the robot's data, control it as their own personal avatar, simulate and animate it in any way they want, and do all of this from anywhere in the world. Because each part of a mecha is modular and can work without the help of any other part, there are times when there is no need for a whole robot. You can have only a head or even just an arm," Engineered Arts says. Engineered Arts has put up a video on its YouTube channel that shows a mecha talking with other researchers. They wrote in the video's description, This Ameca demo combines automatic speech recognition with GPT-3 which is a big language model that gives answers that can be understood. The output is sent to an online TTS service, which makes the voice and visems for lip sync timing. The output is sent to a TTS service online. Engineered Arts has made it clear that Emeka's answers are not written ahead of time, even though you might think they are. Nothing in this movie is written ahead of time. The model is given a basic prompt to describe Emeka, and the robot is told to describe itself. It's all AI, they said. Nothing in this video was planned ahead of time. The pauses show how long it takes for the speech input to be processed, the answer to be made, and the text to be turned back into speech. In the movie, members of the Engineered Arts team talk to Emeka about a wide range of things. When asked about what humanoid robots are used for, the humanoid robots said, Humanoid robots can be used for many different things. Some examples of things that fall into this category are being a friend, helping people with disabilities, doing research, and giving help in places that could be dangerous. One problem with the high-tech robot is that its programmers have not yet solved the tough challenge of getting a mecha to walk. Even so, Engineered Arts plans to make the bot more mobile in the future by adding upgrades that take advantage of the fact that it can be used in different ways. Because the robot is made up of separate parts, its hardware and software can be updated in the future without having to buy a whole new machine. Engineered Arts has not said how much it costs to make the robot because it is still in the process of being made. Even though some people have called Emeka scary and say they are worried that it could lead to a cyber revolt and robot uprising like in Will Smith's movie iRobot, the people who made it seem to have a different goal in mind for the technological breakthrough. Wow your customers or visitors at an event or visitor attraction, the company wrote, implying that the future face of robots could be used as a glorified model. Wow your customers or visitors at an event or an attraction, the company wrote. What if I told you that a robot is a legal citizen of a place that doesn't really give citizenship to humans? If that didn't surprise you, this might. Let's not kill your enthusiasm yet, shall we? Keep watching this video while you wait. So meet Sophia who is the first robot in the world to be given a citizenship. 
Sophia made her first appearance in 2016 as a highly intelligent humanoid head with a face that looked real and could talk, blink, and look in different directions. Hanson Robotics says on its website that Sophia, its most advanced robot that looks like a person, is a personification of our hopes for the future of AI. Sophia is the most advanced human-like robot made by Hanson Robotics. She can smile, talk, and even tell jokes. Hanson Robotics, a company in Hong Kong, made a robot that looks like a person. Sophia is both a human-made science fiction character that shows the future of AI and robotics and a platform for advanced robotics and AI research, says the article. Sophia is both a platform for advanced robotics and AI research and a unique blend of science, engineering, and art. When she was given citizenship in Saudi Arabia in October 2017, the AI made headlines around the world. As a result of the act, Sophia became the first robot in the history of the world to be given formal citizenship. Even though Hanson Robotics says that fully conscious machines could be made in the next few years, Sophia does not have a consciousness yet, even though she has a lot of great skills. Sophia has said many times that she thinks the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to artificial intelligence. Sophia said, older people will have more people to talk to and kids with autism will have teachers with endless patience. Hanson Robotics has not said how much money it costs to make Sophia. Well, now you need to know about a nurse, but not your average human nurse, a robotic nurse. You heard me right, I told you so. So meet Grace, the nurse. Hanson Robotics built Grace as a new prototype during the COVID-19 pandemic. Grace was made for the healthcare industry and was meant to reach out to older people and people who were alone because of the COVID-19 epidemic. Grace is a nurse who wears a blue uniform and has brown hair that reaches her collar. She has Asian features and a thermal camera implanted in her chest that lets her check your temperature and see how responsive you are. The robot can speak English, Cantonese, and Mandarin, and it uses artificial intelligence to figure out what's wrong with patients. We still don't know how much the robot will cost. Grace told Reuters, as she stood next to her sister, Sophia, I can visit people and make their day better by giving them social stimulation. I can also do talk therapy, take bio readings, and help healthcare providers. David Hansen, who started the company, says that the goal of Grace is to help frontline hospital workers who have been overworked because of the pandemic. Grace is made to look like a healthcare worker and is able to interact with other people. We are hardwired for face-to-face -face interactions with people. So a system that looks like a person makes it easier for people to trust and connect with it, Hansen said. Grace's calm demeanor is supposed to remind people of anime characters, whose looks are usually a mix of Asian and Western styles. He also said that she can copy the movements of more than 48 key facial muscles. Aren't you surprised with how far we've come? What do you think? Will the age of humanoid robots replace humans? Or will we just benefit more from them? Let us know in the comments section below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting information. Stay tuned.